safety because we want to get you thinking about the safe safety of the beach when you come back down this summer. Who's ready for the beach? Who's ready for summer? Okay, good answer. Now listen, we're going to talk quick because you guys are eating and we want to hit you guys real quick with this. We also have some sunscreen to give you, so when you're done, we're going to hand out some sunscreen and we have a safety bracelet for you, all right? Now listen, number one, when you come down to the beach, always swim in front of an open lifeguard tower or stand, right? How do we know that they're open? Because the... She's eating. Quick. The flag's on top. Green, yellow, black. Those flags are going to be on top that says that lifeguard stand is open for you to swim there, okay? Number two, always swim with a buddy. Don't go in the water by yourself. If you have little brothers or sisters, your mom may say, can you watch your brother for a second? Can you stay with your brother? That means stay with them. Do not let them swim by themselves. If you put your head down, turn around and walk away, and you leave your little brother or sister down by the water, they could, they could become in trouble, or they could swallow water, and they could go under very, very quickly. So I'm not trying to scare you, I'm trying to remind you that if you're gonna be with your brother or sister, stay with them. Everybody understand that? All right, keep eating while I'm talking. Always swim in front of the lifeguard tower. Know the lifeguard, the flag system. We have those flags on the back of the stand. Green, yellow, red. Swim between what color? What are the flags on the beach we swim between? What color? Yell it out. Orange, right? The orange flags are the border flags. So we want you guys to swim in front of the lifeguard stand in between the orange flags. What do we never want to do when a lifeguard's not on duty? Never go in the ocean, right? Because no one's watching you. And your parents may be here on the beach, or they may have other things going on. The lifeguard's job is to watch you on the beach, okay? So if you go swimming at six or seven o'clock at night, and there's no lifeguard there, that means potentially no one is watching you, or that we're trained to watch you in safe areas, and we don't want you to go in the danger areas. Do you guys understand that? So don't swim when there's not a lifeguard on duty. How about when we go to the beach? Sun, hot sand, what do we want to wear? Yell it out, yell it out, you guys are eating. Sunscreen, flip flops on the hot sand, okay? Hats on top of your head to keep your head from burning, all right? Some of you guys have fair skin, other of you guys probably tan really easily, it doesn't matter. Mom wants to put the sunscreen on, don't be all wiggly. Don't tell her you don't want it on your face. Just get it on, get it protected, all right? You have to be protected from the sun. The sand is really hot some days, like 200 degrees. What do we want to wear? Flip-flops or shoes or sandals, okay? Because you can burn your feet really, really easily, especially little guys like you. Now listen, what do we do when we hear that? No, not so, not so much get out of the water, but pay attention. Turn around. When you're in the water and you hear the lifeguard blow the whistle, they might be blowing at you. They might be giving you a safety message. They may be telling you to move in, move over, move out. Pay attention to the whistle. That's how we get your attention, okay? Don't be like, ah, applesauce. I'm not listening to him. He's not blowing a whistle at me. Turn around and look at the lifeguard. If you can't see the lifeguard, then there's a good chance that we can't see you. So umbrellas, people standing in the way, if you're behind a big person, move so you can see. Everybody understand that, right? Mm -hmm. Be where you can see the lifeguard stand. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, also, they might be blowing a whistle at you because you might be not following one of the, the safety rules. You're absolutely right. We might be blowing the whistle because you're not following one of the safety rules, which are some of the things I just mentioned. Now, everybody put their hand up. Put one hand up, quick, quick. Put one hand up. Everybody wave it back and forth. Both hands up. Wave it back and forth. Now yell help. Okay, that's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. Put your hands down, start keeping your tacos. That's what you're going to do 
If you guys get in trouble in the water, you have to get somebody's attention. The waves, the music on the beach, people talking, the wind, it's sometimes very hard to hear. You want to yell as loud as you can if you think or you're having trouble, if you think you're in trouble or having trouble, you want to get your hands up, raise them just like you did, like a crazy person, and yell. Come on, we can do better than that. Alright, very good. Good job, good job. Now, we talk about rip currents. Rip currents are those fast rivers that go back out to the ocean, right? And sometimes you guys might be on your boogie board. If you're on your boogie board, what do you always want to have on? Or your surfboard? Lead. Yell it out. Lead. Your leash, okay? You want to make sure your leash is on your wrist or it's around your ankle so that if you fall off, and again, you guys are little guys. You might be good swimmers, but if the ocean's really rough and you get away from your board, you might not be able to go catch it, but if you have your leash, you can pull yourself back to it. Get back on your board because you can float on it, right? If we're tired, oh man, I'm paddling. I'm not going anywhere. But you're on your board. You're okay. You're going to float on your board. But if you get off your board, you're going to have trouble in the ocean. The ocean is a lot rougher and a lot more dangerous than some of you guys think. It's not like swimming in your pool. It's not like going to the water park. It's dangerous. And we're just here to remind you guys to be careful this summer. Make sure your parents know where you are at all times. Always swim in front of a lifeguard stand when the lifeguards are on duty. Go up to the lifeguard and ask them questions. Most You guys know most of them. You're in, how many kids are in junior guards? All right, a good number of you are in junior guards. So you know a lot of the lifeguards. Just walk up and ask them a question. All right? Now, junior lifeguards, Jill Miller's here from juniors. She's going to talk at the very end. We're going to explain to you about junior lifeguards. Those of you guys that do junior lifeguards and some of you guys that are thinking about it, she's going to talk to you about that. So let's just talk about the rip currents for a second, because I, I got off the track. If you're on your boogie board, you're going backwards. If you're swimming and you're going backwards, and the lifeguard looks smaller and smaller and smaller, you might be in a rip current, which is a, which is a, a river of water that's taking you away. What are we going to do if we think we're getting in trouble? Help! Raise your hand and yell help, okay? All right, now, we need... You want to be rescued? Can you help me out? Right, you're going to come up here and Quinn, you come up here. Now, Lifeguard Sarah is going to help us out. We have right here, this is what the lifeguards use. This is a rescue can. This is a hard plastic flotation device that we're going to, we're going to rescue you with. We're going to show you how to hold on to it, okay? So, Life, what's your name? Catherine, all right, Quinn, you sit down for one second. You're going to be second. Catherine is over here, and Catherine's on her boogie board. And Catherine's going backwards and backwards and backwards. And Catherine's paddling, but she's going, what is she doing? Backwards, backwards okay? Catherine, you put your hand up and yells. Do it again. Tell her you need help. Now lifeguard Sarah is going to swim out, right? She's going to grab the rescue can. She's going to hand it to Catherine, who's flailing in the water, yelling for help. Catherine's gonna hold on, all right? Now Sarah can do one or two things. Sarah can turn Catherine around and hold on to her, or if Catherine says, I'm okay, I can help kick, or if Catherine's on her boogie board, or her big giant pizza float, or her big pink flamingo swan that you guys go on, Catherine can hold on to the rescue can.